Right now, Douglas County officials are laying out how they plan to spend $13 million to help improve safety at their schools. And we already know $3 million will go toward hiring more school resource officers. Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez live in Castle Rock to break down where all the rest of the money is going to go. Ivan? And Shannon, the meeting has just wrapped up. You see a few people coming in and out of the doors right now. The county commissioners have just revealed how they're going to distribute nearly $10 million of funding that will serve students across Douglas County. Let's break down what we know so far. About $9 million will fund physical school safety. This includes enhanced building security, access control, and training. About $1 million will go toward mental health and social emotional learning. Charged with the health, safety, and welfare of 368,000 people in Douglas County, we believed it was incumbent upon us to come alongside our leaders in law enforcement and education to identify ways to address the safety of our young people in schools with expertise, but also a sense of urgency. I also spoke with Jeremy Johnson. He's the head of school of DCS Montessori Charter School. His school is one of dozens that applied through the county to receive some of this funding to help serve those students. He says the money that they receive will go toward expanding their card reader system as well as having social workers stay a little bit later in the school day to help students who, who need it. Everybody wants to be a little bit more sure um, about you know the safety and security of our schools. So this extension of card reader systems is something that you know um, we wanted some support for that, and they're helping make that possible, as well as like making sure that our students have more access to mental health services in the building. At this time, different schools, as well as the Douglas County School District, doesn't know exactly how much money they're, they're going to each be getting. Just really a rough estimate of what they applied for, so they know that that money is going to be coming in, but they're still waiting on that exact amount. We'll continue to keep you updated in these coming days to learn exactly what that amount is. Live in Castle Rock, Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7. Ivan, thank you.